This is Concrete TV. Concrete TV. At Atlanta Fornication, I just really wanted to put together a project. I never really put together a solo project. I was in a group for like four or five years, so we were just doing a bunch of group music. But then this solo uh, project, which was my first one, was Atlanta Fornication. I just got with a whole bunch of producers, beats, I just put songs together, you know what I'm saying? Whereas this project right here, I didn't just put songs together, I was putting together a project something that sounds cohesive, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Atlanta Fornication to me was tight, but I think it was more all, you know, all over the place. But um, this project is different. I've been tattooing like 13 years, 14 years, something around there, give or take. Um, but I came up looking at, like, Joe Capabianco. I've been looking at, like, Jose Lopez and shit. Um, I've been looking at Cap Sunsky shit, Brandon Bond, a lot of these Atlanta artists, you know what I'm saying, like Shane Morton. Uh, yeah, it does because that's where I really learned how to draw was in LA. And I learned a lot of shit from like, you know, I had homeboys that was essays that had crazy ass writing in school and shit. And we was all in advanced place in art class, so we was feeding off each other and shit. Like, I have a homeboy named Leo that's out there in uh, L.A. He's like fucking Mexican and Samoan, like the weirdest mix, but he was a tall motherfucker. Always, always getting nigga in trouble and shit in school. <laughs> but uh, Leo was crazy lettering, like his letter now is crazy. He got a spot called A-Town Tattoo. And um, I, think it's, I think it's in Carson, I think it's Lomita. And his lettering, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'm, my letters and shit come from like a lot of West Coast background, shading also. Actually, I used to do graphic design work. I used to design clothes for Dallas Austin, uh, the little rowdy uh, record label. I had a rowdy clothing. I was designing a lot of clothes then, you know. I worked for this company called Anomalous for like four years, designing t-shirts, hand drawn and computer design. Like, you know, I do that. I went to school for computer graphics and shit. Yeah, but that's just now, I don't fuck with it too much. Um, the craziest, but well, the best person to sit down and talk to with tattooing was uh, I tattooed Big Meech. And just to talk to that motherfucker, like, he's the smartest computer chip, you know what I'm saying? Learned a lot of shit, well, business wise, you know, internal wise. But Wiz takes him. I tattooed that motherfucker for hours. I tattooed the fucking badass under his neck. Smoke, chill out. You know, it's good. That motherfucker just tattoos, you can tell, you know what I'm saying? Except his back. He said his back was fucked up. But, <laughs> but uh, besides that, nah, he's been the strongest, you know. Rick Ross didn't take him too. I, I did a lot of fucking, you know, work on him, you know what I'm saying? He didn't want to introduce me to Will. So. Uh, I was just always around Ross, tattooing him, flying around, you know what I'm saying, getting on a tour bus or whatever. Um, just tatting that motherfucker. He's come to my shop, he shot videos in that motherfucker. Then he shot the Super High Remix video with Boss Currency and Wiz. And then when he did that, um, me and Wiz would chop it up, you know what I'm saying? It's been like. You know,
But then, you know, that group kind of defunct a little bit. Then I just start working on my shit. I record myself. Even now, that whole project, took the whole Tukey project, I recorded that whole motherfucking project. I recorded myself. Yeah. I didn't do all of it. I didn't do the beats at all. But I make sure that I always record myself. Sometimes I write, sometimes I just go at it, you know. And uh, everybody that records without writing know what I'm talking about. You know, you just go in and you fit, spit and fix, spit and fix until you come up with something. Most of the time I hear a concept when you're listening to the beat, you're getting a concept in your head. That's where the rapper come from. Instead of just aimlessly writing a rap to fit it into that beat when really, Sometimes you write a rap, it don't, that beat not, not be it. You hear another beat, that, that was it. You know what I'm saying? And the one that everybody received, that's because you did it right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just gotta go in and feel the beat out. You might not even rap, you know what I'm saying? My go-to snack, uh-huh. Some Cheetos cheese puffs, man. I, I fuck them up. <laughs> I fuck a whole bag up and be like, shit, I gotta get another bag. But uh, Cheetos cheese puffs. They can send me some boxes of that shit. <laughs> I eat them for you. <laughs> all right. Hey, all my social media network is Tukey Carter, T U K I C A R T E R. And uh, go to TukeyCarterMusic.com. We got everything tour dates, uh, Merch that's about to be up, uh, fucking videos, music, write ups, whatever. It's all on there. Even my Instagram timeline pops up on there. So go to tukeycardamusic.com. This is Concrete TV. Concrete TV.